Hi nerds, it's Rebecca, I eat books. Today, we're doing the bar in the bookcase tag. This is an original tag from the amazing Jalen at Bar in the Bookcase. Not only did he crush this tag, not only did he come up with beautiful, phenomenal prompts, he also had the audacity to just name the tag after himself, mic drop. We love it, fantastique, phenomenal. So thanks for tagging me, Jalen. Let's do it. Oh, and um, accompanying this boozy tag, I'm drinking a tall glass of seltzer water. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's like noon and I just got back from a little bike ride. Hydration is of utmost importance. Don't forget it. You can imagine this is whatever you want. This is a choose your own adventure video. So whatever you wanna put right here, you do that. Let's get into it. First up an old fashioned, a historical fiction recommendation. All right, Miglu by Otessa Moshfag. I am sure that I'm not the only person to whom this happened. My year of rest and relaxation came out, read it, loved it. Walked into a bookstore, saw Miglu, Otessa Moshfag, great. Knew nothing about this book. Was expecting another young woman, New York, city, urban, contemporary, that is not what I got. What I got was a story that takes place on a boat. It says Salem, Massachusetts, 1851. McGlue is in the hold. That's a boat term. It is a fun read. I recommend it. You're not getting my year of rest and relaxation, but that's the genius of Otessa. She has breath. She does it all. Renaissance woman. Number two. Sidecar, book with a strong supporting character. All right, I'm going controversial with this one. I'm gonna to talk today about Fleischman is in Trouble. Now, before you skip ahead, I want you to know that this book is misunderstood. This book begins telling the story of a rich, divorced New York doctor. He's very wealthy, but his friends are even more wealthy, so he's whining. I hated this book when I started it. I probably would have DNF'd it, but I was away at my in-laws. I think it was Thanksgiving. I didn't have any other options. At the beginning of the book, this whiny rich guy has a friend, a female friend, who is a very minor, minor character. And the book is being told in omniscient third person. And then slowly you realize that it was never omniscient third person. It was first person from this minor character's point of view. And slowly you realize that this jerk from the beginning is not even the main character. This woman is, but it's not about him. Forget him. This is like a very cleverly done feminist novel. And I think that people don't give it the credit it deserves, even though it was like an incredibly popular buzzy book. Hot take, leave your thoughts below. Number three, A Manhattan, a book set in New York. I should tell you that this is my drink of choice, especially in the winter. Bourbon Manhattan, extra cherry. For this book I'm gonna talk about, I mean, there are a million options for this one. Lots of books in New York, but I'm excited because I'm gonna to get to talk about a book that's one of my favorite books I've read so far this year that I don't think I've mentioned yet on this channel which is Want by Lynn Steggerstrong. This is a book about a character with a PhD. You know I love an academic novel. She lives in New York. She is filing for bankruptcy. You know I love a story about being crushed by capitalism. This book is about money and depression and friendship. She reaches out to her childhood friend from growing up in Florida. You get lots of great flashback scenes. Her best friend is going through a crisis of her own. It's a great book. I'm not gonna ruin it for you, but read it. If you read one book from this list, read this book. I love this book so much. All right, the next one, Bloody Mary. A book that scared you or messed you up. I'm gonna talk about Homegoing. This book is haunting, which it is meant to be. It is a multi-generational tale of slavery. It begins with two sisters in Ghana. One is 
upstairs in a palace in unbeknownst to her her own sister is in the dungeon enslaved and then we follow the lineage from these two sisters um for hundreds of years and yeah it is exactly what you think it is it is haunting it's scary it's brutal and it forces you to confront the dehumanization and monstrosity of slavery it does that effectively homegoing yeah jesse next up espresso martini a book that kept you reading into the night i was thinking i would talk about the Secret History by Donna Tartt. This is definitely a literary thriller and I don't read a lot of those. This I read many, many years ago, probably during college or shortly after, not that many years ago. It is everything I want in a page turner. It's got like, it's a campus novel. It's got like an enigmatic professor character. They're studying the classics. Nothing screams page turner to me like some Latin. It's a fun one. Who doesn't love a boarding school story? We all love a boarding school story. All right, next up is Sazerac, a book that left you disoriented. Bluettes by Maggie Nelson. I love this book. I don't know what this book is. This book is a love letter to the color blue. This book is memoir. This book is poetry. This book is research. This book is scrawlings on the back of old receipts. This book has no classification. When I was done, I was like, what just happened to me? Maggie Nelson is a genius and such a beautiful writer that resists classification and that as a reader is very disorienting because uh, what we crave is like strict narrative structure and to be thrown from that in such a masterful way kudos to maggie next up the long island iced tea a book that is doing too much bonus points if it works anyway temporary by hillary leichter this book is wild it's a great send up of our current religious obsession our devotion to work in our current society it follows the main character through a series of temp jobs including like she interns for an assassin she works as a pirate on a pirate ship she is a pamphleteer for a actual witch she is a ceo she's a human barnacle at one point this book is wild i think it works i give bonus points i'll take those bonus points Jalen. please mark them down negroni a book with a love triangle i am gonna put euphoria by lily king Jalen also picked, a, picked another Lily King book, so now I just think this is like Lily King's thing. She's kind of obsessed with love triangles. Who hurt you, Lily? Euphoria tells the story of a female anthropologist roughly based on Margaret Mead. The character's name is Nell Stone, and she and her husband are studying in Papua New Guinea. She has seen some success in publishing her work and her husband is jealous and then there's a third anthropologist who they meet up with um and love triangle ensues next up we have the bay breeze a book with a light chill heartwarming vibes don't you know this was the hardest one for me this was tricky i chose barbarian days by William Finnegan. This is a memoir of his life as a surfer. It talks about him growing up in Hawaii and learning to surf and all the places he traveled surfing all over the world. It's a really fun read if you want to be transported to beautiful far reaches of the earth. The ultimate summer read. He does such an amazing job describing what it feels like to be in a wave, to be seeking a wave to be experiencing surfing yeah reading this book is an experience william finnegan was a famous is he's alive new yorker journalist that's barbarian days colon a surfing life all right dark and stormy book that's dark thrilling menacing one of my other favorite reads of last year was severance by ling ma this tells the story of a pandemic 
and tells the story from a young woman who works a thankless, tedious job in Manhattan in a publishing company. Everyone around her starts dying and basically the apocalypse is happening and she's so rooted in her routine that she continues to go to work every day. This book is incredibly menacing. You feel this like ongoing creeping of this disease coming all around you. Also, this book is like incredibly claustrophobic. It is meant to replicate just feeling like we're trapped in this hamster wheel and we are being crushed by the current widening gaps of wealth and inequality. A really great read. If you are like, you know, I really need a book about a pandemic because like, what's that like? I really need a heavy-handed metaphor for late-stage capitalism. Ling Ma is your girl. Last prompt. Martini. This is my other drink. Controversial. I prefer a vodka martini, not gin. Very dirty. Like six olives. Really, I just want olives. Martini. The classic recommendation. You knew what I was going to say. Talked about it before. It's Little Women, baby. Louisa May Alcott, love her. Love Jill March. If you have never had the joy of reading Little Women, I think you should. This was fun. Dudes and dudettes, we did it. We got through all the prompts and we hydrated. Comment below if you liked any of these books, what your cocktail choice is, and most importantly, if I changed your mind about Fleischman is in trouble, because that was the whole goal of this video. That's it. We're out of prompts, we're out of drinks. Closing time, buddies.